If you're a first time home buyer in Canada, this new first home savings account or known as the FHSA could be a game changer for you. I've always felt that when there's new regulations or new taxes, the first time home buyers feel it the most. And I fully recognize how frustrating it must be, you know, trying to save for that down payment, trying to get into the market, but the price is running away from you. And then you factor in the fact that rental prices have gone up significantly as well. And it's it's frustrating, right? You're sitting there being like, okay, well, what the heck do I have to do here? This new first home savings account, I do think will actually help people where I think a lot of the other things in the past didn't actually do anything. My name's Tom Story, and I appreciate you being back here on the channel. What we're gonna talk about in today's video is this new account, everything you'll need to know as a potential first time home buyer in Canada. And even if you're not a first time home buyer, if you have a family member or a friend that is in this scenario, feel free to share this video with them. I'd also like to know in the comments below, let me know, do you think this new first time home buyers account is going to actually be helpful for people trying to get into the market? If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 9,000 subscribers and we got to get to 10,000 by the summer. That is the goal. So if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe on this video. And if you watch this video to the end and you have questions for me or looking to make a move in the Toronto market, you can go into the first link in the description and book a buyer call, a seller call, or just a discovery call to chat about the market. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some slides and we're gonna break down this new account, which by the way, you can open right now as of April 1st, you can go to any banking institution in Canada and you can open this account in your name. And the great thing about it, just like the TFSA, where you can take up up to $35,000 for your first time home purchase, this one, the max limit is 40,000, but I'll tell you how you can get to that number. If you're buying with your spouse or your partner, another first time home buyer, you can actually double up. You can both take out the full amount. So that actually could make a difference on getting that down payment figured out. Now, what we're about to go over was sent to me by Jesse Merson at RBC. He's a mobile mortgage specialist is someone that I've relied on a lot in the past to give me information on what's going on. So that's where this information came from. Okay, so let's jump into it together and try to make sense of this. All right, so the first home savings account, first of all, what is it, okay? The first time savings account or the FHSA as they are calling it is a registered plan allowing you as a prospective home buyer to save for your first home tax-free up to a certain limit. And as I mentioned before, you can now open these accounts as of April 1st, 2023. Now let's compare it to your other options and go through everything you would need to know, okay? So the purpose of these different accounts, right? So the FHSA, the purpose of opening this account is to buy your first property and save for your down payment. The purpose of opening a TFSA is general savings and the RRSP, opening an RRSP, the purpose of that is for retirement savings. Now what we're gonna look at is the contribution limit and carry forward ability. Now I'm not gonna discuss the TFSA or the RRSP, all the information is there for you, that's been that way for a long, long time. Um, but I would say talk to a financial advisor to see if your money is better in these areas or in this new first home savings account. So the big number you're gonna wanna know for this new first home savings account is you have an annual contribution limit of $8,000, okay, so $8,000 per year, and a lifetime limit of $40,000. So even if you're not ready to buy your first property today, and you're thinking of doing it in a few years, it would be very, very smart to open this account now, start putting your savings in this account. You can also invest in this account as well, but again, Talk to a financial planner more about that side of things. I really do think that anybody in a position looking to get into the market should open this account immediately and very much take advantage of it. Now let's go over the withdrawal conditions and the withdrawal tax treatment, okay? So for this new uh, first home savings account, uh, to make a qualifying withdrawal, you must be a first time home buyer at the time of the withdrawal. So that makes sense. You must also have a written agreement to buy or build a qualifying home before October 1st of the year following the year of the withdrawal, okay? And intend to occupy this home. So this is for buying your first property and living in it, not buying your first property as an investment, okay? That's a whole nother conversation. Now with the TFSA, you can generally take it out at any time. And for the RRSP, you can take it out up to $35,000 as a first-time home purchaser. 
but for the RSP, you do have to pay it back over time. And that's the big difference here. The first home savings account, you don't have to pay it back. You can save up to $40,000 in this account. So let's say you've already got money in your RSP, right? And maybe you were relying on taking out the maximum from your RSP, which would be $35,000. And let's say you've saved the $40,000, uh, the max limit you can save in this account over a few years. And now you can combine them and have up to a $75,000 down payment. And if you have a spouse or a partner that did the same thing, you can both take advantage of this and you'll have $150,000 towards your first time home purchase. The big difference between the FHSA and the RSP is that with the FHSA, you are not required to repay your withdrawal, where with the RSP, because the purpose of this account is for retirement savings, they want you to put that money back. So if you took out the $35,000 max limit, you must generally repay any withdrawal amounts to your RSP within 15 years, okay? Starting on the second calendar year following the year in which you made the withdrawal. So if you took out the money from that account, you do have to put it back over time. That's why this new FHSA is such a game changer. I really do think this is something that the government has done that could actually be helpful. And I really do mean that. I think you should take advantage of this if you're in a position right now thinking about getting into the market. If you're buying next year, yeah, I guess you can only really put up to $8,000 in this account in the first year. But if you've already got funds in your RSP, I would really look at at least opening this and taking advantage of it as much as you possibly can. I hope you found this video valuable. If you have any questions, you can throw them down below. Have an amazing day. My name is Tom Story. And remember, home is where your story begins.